Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use faders to control parameters in Reaper. Now, a quick review. I have a pad in front of us here. Let's hear it. Now, if I wanted to control a filter on here, I could just do this. Go to my plugins, grab an EQ that's set up to be a filter right here. And I can control that parameter just by clicking on it, going to the parameter menu, and choosing Learn. Then I can use my MIDI controller or an OSC controller, move one of the controls, then I can control that parameter through MIDI. Just move it, and I can adjust that filter. But there are fader controllers that don't use MIDI or OSC. In fact, I have one right here. It's called a fader port. So sometimes I want to use that to control parameters. So let me show you how to set that up. We'll start by making a new track. I'll name it controller, as we're going to use the fader on this track to control the parameter over here, the frequency parameter for this filter. Although we can control anything we want. So I'll name it controller. Then I'm going to put a plugin on this track that's going to create a tone or a signal. Just click right here, go to our filter, and type in tone. So we can generate a test tone right here. But let's turn the volume of that off by going over here. Hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and click it. And that takes that sound out of the master parent sent. Or you can do it right here. Uncheck it here. This way we don't have to hear that test tone, although it's still playing. You can see it right here. So now we want to send that tone to control an effect parameter. So we'll go to the routing and just drag it right from here onto this plugin. And our send shows up. And by default, it sends it from channel one and two to channel three and four. So it creates two new channels on this track that we can use to control this plugin. So now we'll select this parameter again, go up here, and instead of going to learn, we'll choose parameter modulation. Then we'll go down over here to audio signal control and choose that. And then we'll switch this for the audio channel to B3 and 4. So now this is being triggered by this track or the test tone on this track. So now we can adjust the minimum volume to be as low as possible. Everything else for the most part will work as is. Then we can close this, grab the fader over here, and it adjusts that filter. Now I'm going to do this with my controller. So open the mixer and go right over here, either adjust it here or I'll use my controller like this. And it's very responsive as the volume of our tone is controlling the filter. And it sounds like this. So just like that, we can control the filter on this track's plugin. And we could also use this fader to record automation. Let's go over here and right click, switch it to touch mode, then hit play and adjust the fader. And we can see that automation with the envelope right here. Play it back. It works nicely. And this will work with any controller that has faders and works with Reaper. And we can set up more as well. Let's clear this. Let's add another filter to this EQ. Instead of a low pass, Let's add a high pass right here. And we'll duplicate this track. 
So it has the tone generator on it, but we should switch the send. So instead of being three and four, we'll make it five and six. So we'll add more channels right here. Then we can go to this frequency, click it, last touch parameter, parameter modulation, and switch this to audio control. And we'll make this five and six, adjust the minimum volume. And now this fader will control the high pass, high pass and low pass. And I can use the faders on my controller. and we can create as many parameters as you want, each with their own track and fader where we can control it. It's great for recording automation, just adjusting parameters, or even very useful for live performance situations. So that's pretty much it. That's using faders to control parameters in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.